Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Duel campaign. This is episode 25. We pick it up from turn 87 in the autumn season of 211. So we ended our last episode by wiping out Sun Ce's faction. Uh, we just basically delegated the battle against Zhou Yu over here in Lujiang. And this army is pretty much finished its mission. Uh, we do have some plans for them. I think I might start attacking the old turbans for a few reasons. One, it would be a nice uh, mercenary contract to work with. And two, I noticed that the yellow turbans actually took Beihai. So, which is surprising because it's a small regional city. So if we retake it, and then we can do a couple of trade deals with Taishan and Beihai's livestock farm in the trade port uh, to give this over to Liu Bei, since it's kind of out of place for the High Empire to have this piece. Previously, we have all this as High Empire, but it's a good chance to have Liu Bei have a continuous territory. And then we can have Beihai and Beihai's livestock farm to Kongrong, because Kongrong's... Basically, Beihai was where he was at historically. His nickname is Kong Beihai. So... It's kind of put his surname and the location together. So it's nice that we have this opportunity to restore them together. And I know that down south, Wang Long has been asking us to get into a mercenary contract against these yellow turbans, which is very active in the south because of there's also a location here uh, because, you know, mismanagement by the AI. Um, and we have an army that has nothing to do now, so they could go march over there. And we can also take down the yellow turban here and give it to Zhang Fu so that he'll like us a bit more. This is Zhang Lu's son. Um, if we look at by attitude, uh, there's still a lot of people who hate us. You know, you get this dark maroon here. Liu Yao's gonna die. Uh, Hua Xin's gonna die. All this is gonna die. Yuan Yao's our vassal, but eh, I don't know what to do with him. Maybe we'll give him Yang Zhou in the future if we have more of these commanders down south, uh, just to make him happy with us. Kong Rong, once we give him Beihai, I think he will be at least yellow, sort of like Cao Ang over here. And, but if we look at the situation, it's pretty nice because they're all our vassals. There's only a few red left. After we clean up the west and the armies are freed up, we'll declare war on Yuan Shao. Take that over, create a few more vassalages with Yuan Tan, Yuan Shao's son, and that should be fine. And uh, we notice a few more things about generals, and I got a few ideas thanks to you, uh, some comments. So we did have a commenter ask me why I don't try to marry Gong Sun Zan out. Now that he is joined the Ha Empire, uh, he's got recruited by the Ha Empire. And that's a good idea. Marriage is a great idea. And my first instinct was he's already married, which is true. So you can't offer him as a marriage to get him out. But the thing is, we have his wife. We can divorce him. We have that final say. We can divorce him with his wife, who I think is her. No, that's my. Uh, we have his wife. I know we have his wife. Give me a second. We'll find it with the icons right next to it. Oh, it is her. Okay, it's the right person. Yeah. So she's Gong Sun Zan's wife. We can get her to do a divorce. And then we can offer her to marry Gong Sun Zan again. So kind of like a legal separation that ended in divorce. And then, you know, we, made, we joined them. The only thing is, would she have the ruling family symbol, which is not here right now? Because the ruling family symbol might only apply to ruling family relatives of ours. So we might have to use our ex-wife. But we can reunite them afterward. This is just a temporary thing to get him out. Uh, now, diplomacy? Because even if the Han Empire summons him onto the field... We can't fight him because that's our vassal. Yeah, I'm not going to undo all this restoration work just for him. So we want to... Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn it will refresh that he's divorced, that his wife has left him, and maybe we can get him out. Yeah, I think, I think that might be the best plan because I think, I think that's where he is. We can kind of check here, because we met him before. He should be in our known character list. Gong Sun Zan. Yep, High Empire. So I think we might be able to marry him out. That's my hope. Oh, he has all. He has his weapons still. Well, we forced the divorce. 
I hope we can marry him next, uh, get him through marriage, and then we'll give him a piece of land, and then we'll fight him as a vassal, destroy him again. Poor guy, but he's 66. We need to hurry with that plan. Aside from him, Sun Quan is someone I don't know if he's married or not. He's never appeared in court, never met him. We don't know from the character screen. Um, Yan Bai Hu, we have his wife as well, which is something we can do with him. But right now, if we click him, he's not in any faction. Because he, he just got destroyed. We've got to give it a little time for them to rejoin recruitment pools. Xu Huang also seemed to have joined the Han Empire. And there's no way we can get him out. He's not part of any ruling family, so we can't offer any marriage tricks. So he might just be you know, someone who we won't be able to clear. Uh, and since we can't clear him, perhaps there's no reason to clear John L either. So the poor guy can you know, have a fun time in our faction without worrying about losing his head. So it really is Gong Sun Zan. Uh, and Pang Tong hasn't showed up yet in the game. He might never spawn. You know, it's it's fine. Uh, that's why the game's achievement for this list is only 25 characters. You don't need to kill everyone. You just need to kill 25. And we already passed that. So that's fine. All right. We'll keep an eye on these guys as we go on. And we're just going to continue with our cleanup efforts across the map. I think most of our army has moved. The only army we need to kind of summon is the rebel killers here we'll let him get some experience this is a, this is a very nice group Yue Jin, Luo Jun, and uh, Lu Meng they'll fight them next turn no rush and these guys are just hanging out here farming rebels here although Yan Bai Hu has a force here They'll probably suicide into the city. Oh, maybe maybe into the toolmaker actually, because their faction just lost their last territory. So we'll let them suicide and die during the end turn. And we'll just get all the buildings cleared and we'll be fine. Let's see, Chen is fine, Dai is fine. Ooh. Uh I think we're going to give this away in the future, so we're just going to leave it be. It doesn't need to be a large city. You can downgrade it to reduce some stress on our food. Uh, Luoyang, I'm also not sure if we can keep it for the long term. Might be giving it away. So we're not going to be building those. What's the problem here? Oh, no. Requires an entrepreneur. So we need a level 4 marketplace, which we're actually working towards in a lot of our places. So this is a level one. We can't get level four until we are a regional city, I believe. Yeah, that's when, yeah, small regional city. So we need to look at places like Xiangyang, who currently has plus three food for no particular reason. Uh, but we want to eventually downgrade this place. Or we might even give it away. Hmm. Any other place we can fit in? A level 4 marketplace? Doesn't seem like it. I think the only tall builds we have are Yangzhou and Xiangyang. Alright, so I guess we'll get rid of this. Uh, and then we pop in the marketplace. Let's see, we have the cash to boost it. But we don't have the reforms. I think this one's easy to get. It's like right here. Yep. That's one more, two more seasons. So we'll wait on that. Yuzhang. All right, Yuzhang we're keeping. So we're going to upgrade this. This is going to be our food deposit. Okay, so we're good. Let's um, quickly check diplomacy real quick. What armor is he wearing? I think it's a, he has a silver one. He has a bronze one. He's a farmer. What faction are you coming from? Yan Bai Hu. Well, you can't spy on us if your faction is destroyed. So we could recruit him. But I guess we're not using this um, agriculture development assignment anytime soon. So we're probably going to pass. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, spies, 
we only have one in Cao Cao's faction right now. He's serving in the office in Chang'an, which means uh, we'll have a pretty... That means he's just in the capital doing nothing. Cao Cao's down to, like, almost nobody. Remember the glorious days of so many generals on the roster? Um, 54... We could force a few of these guys to leave him, but I don't see the advantage of that. We might as well try to convince him to summon us onto the battlefield. And then we'll also try to balance out the two stats. Alright, and then we'll keep him as is. Alright, we picked him into the Duel's faction, just because we're cleaning up the Duel's faction right now. Yeah, I also don't think we need to worry too much about them. Zhang Quan. Alright, can we send him as a spy into the High Empire? Wait, where is the High Empire? Can we not spy on the High Empire? Oh, I never noticed this before. You cannot spy on the High Empire. That's a little lame. I don't. I mean, I don't want to spy on them. Like that wasn't. I mean, the goal is to see their character roster for sure, and also I kind of want uh, Druja to go back and you know die there because not in a negative sense. You know, he's an honorable servant of the Han, and it'd be nice if he dies in the Han faction. Also, oh, we can't spy on the High Empire. That's a shame. That's a shame. Alright. Fine. I guess there's nothing much for us to do. I don't think anyone's willing to sign any peace deals with us. Oh, it's also had enough. So these four that we've been beating up had enough. Uh, but we're going to be destroying their factions. He still doesn't want peace, even though he only has like an army left. He might have counties. Who knows? Bandits? They might, I, we don't see anything over here, so we don't know. Non-question packs. Trade agreement. Nah, he doesn't want to do it. How close is this negotiation for abdication? I mean, they must feel pretty good right now down south. Forty-four. That's not that high. Okay. Well, Li Bu's going down south, so that should be, you know, resolved pretty quickly. He's right here. I think we can just end turn, and uh, let's see what happens. Alright, Yan Bai Hu was suiciding. We put the three generals here, just to get the easy delegate win. I don't think we needed it, but just in case. Alrighty, let's see who he joins. My guess, Zhang Yan. Alright, Liu Yao's really had enough. He's offering us a ton of gold to peace out. I mean, if you weren't on such a valuable piece of land, I would accept. But since you are on a valuable piece of land, we're just going to reject. Alright, up till this point, the Kingdom of Jiu Zhen, or uh, Shi Xie's faction, has not had a taste of Li Bu yet. And they have bravely, uh, the minister of the Imperial household, Wang Tan, and this minister, Harold, uh, who is responsible for a relationship, so maybe she would have known that Lu Bu was scary. Basically, we have two brave strategists leading their men against Lu Bu. Let's go. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. Who cares about deployables? Let's go. Lu Bu haven't been down south yet. Well, not this deep south. He went over into the trade port once, I believe, to fight Sun Ce for the first time. And the Art of War says, you strike the enemy when they're in the river. Don't wait till they cross. Well, they crossed. Alright, I'll we'll take care of the cavalrys first. Well, last time we fast forwarded, we kind of died, but... We'll be a little bit more careful this time, and uh, try to control things. All 
Alright, no one runs. Get a smash. There we go. Yeah, it's working all of a sudden now. You know, it wasn't working for the, like last well, last episode at the end. It started working again, but like for the last two episodes, we couldn't get the smash ability for Ribu, uh, Sun Ren, and Xu Chu to work. I don't know why. Oh, well, actually, crossbows need to die first. These things actually hurt. Armor piercing on them. These strategists. What does he have? Okay, he doesn't have. He's inspiring surge, which actually re reduces their cooldown, but that doesn't actually do much against us. Can we throw it against him? No, when he stops moving, when he stops moving, we'll do it. We'll play a little safer. If we get below like you know 15k health, we'll run off on the side of the map to heal up a little bit. I think we're fine. Alright, let's make everyone freeze. Run over here. Good. Alright. I want to kill these strategists. Oh, she actually has the lock ability one. Let's go over here. Outside of her zone. And then we'll throw a dagger right at her. Yeah, our dagger range is slightly bigger than her range. Throw it. Perfect. Alright, we out. We're going to let them come out of the river real quick. I don't want to kill all of them because we could use them to bounce and travel farther next turn. Just going to let them chase us for a little bit. Those archers are preventing us from using recovery. we got to outrun their range. Right, she has 400 health left after that poison dagger, which only does 10k. All right, now we kill them. Right. Got rid of the two archers. Okay, one archer. The other guy's still here. Two archers. We could roar any time, I guess. No, she's unbreakable. Good thing we checked. Kill her. They're moving. Oh, she's dead. Now we can roar. Hold on. Get in here. Goodbye. You can kill off some of these units as they route. Alright, we win. I'm going to do a little bit of chasing just on the elite units. And uh, see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Just chase down that one protector of heaven just to lower their uh, delegate value for the next fight to save us a little time. Ooh, willing to work for us. It's okay. Stay on the armies. We can bounce off you. Alrighty, new turn. Cao Cao got a contract with Zhang Yan. Yan Bai Hu is destroyed. Zhang Zhao is willing to work for us. Very happy to take him. We're actually short on strategists. Hmm? This I can understand. I don't understand this. This gives me the feeling that he was working for Sun Ce. And then Sun Ce got destroyed last turn. Liu Bei hired him and sent him to us as a spy. Interesting. 
I'll still take him. I'll take him and uh, make him super happy so that he ditches the obey if he is a spy. I can't I can't resist here yeah be the minister of ceremonies right, anyone else we might be looking for there's a lot of farmers in the game oh Lu Fan Lu Fan Lu Fan yeah got so used to saying Lu Fan but it's Lu Fan go master uh, it's a good bonus. He's also relatively young. See, that's a that's a clean background, All right? He was working for Sun Tzu. We wiped out Sun Tzu last turn. No one hired him. Not a spy. Even then, and he's also willing to spy for us. So, that's an easy recruit. And that's probably it. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's check if we have that marriage deal. Or is Gong Sun Zhan like just not available for marriage now? Yeah, he's not available. Which is interesting. Hmm. Alright. That plan didn't work. So this army is still wandering around, but they're so weak that this city is pretty safe. They're not sieging us, which is a little concerning, because if they siege, we can just resolve it. If they stack up to three stacks, that's a problem. Alright, so we're going to be chasing here with Lu Bu. Hopefully just delegate. Save us a little time. Yep, heroic victory here. The whole reason we kept them. We're going to release you again. Alright, he's going to run a little farther south. Which means we can actually chase him again. The High Empire settlement garrisons helping us. Then we fight. See, this is a good leader. He's on the field himself. Why can't the others learn from him? But then the bad example is he's going to die on the battlefield in a delegate historic victory <laughs> against Lu Bu. Oh, he, he survived. He ran away. Alright, the, the AI still think we have the contract against them. This is like the contract, the two two contracts ago? And that one ended because someone declared war on us and it doesn't matter. It's, it's slightly bugged. As you can see, we don't have a contract right now. There's another army here. I believe this contract is again is with like Tall Tall or someone. Uh, we'll release him. Ah, uh, we're not at war with Liu Shang. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna take their last territory, and then this army should suicide into somewhere nearby. Actually, I don't know. Are they at war with the High Empire? See, they're not. So... He's going to have to travel farther to suicide into our lumberyard or something. Doesn't matter. We'll take the tool maker. Decisive defeat. I beg to differ. We're going to fight this and cut it out. Not going to be super exciting. So see you guys at the end. Alrighty. Wipe them out. So it does give us fame and fortune, but doesn't let us give the territory over to quote unquote whoever gave us this contract, which I think is Salt Salt. So that's weird. I mean, I know it's broken. I know we shouldn't even get fame and fortune, but if we're getting that, we're not getting the give territory. It's kind of 
both both ways here. Occupy. So the bad news is Liu Shang has been very busy, has been taking territories here. Territories that we kind of wanted for ourselves. But I guess it's okay. We have a lot more territories that we actually need to take. Alright, so Li Bu is done. Let's go through our list. Alright, Gao Shun, who's just been cleaning up Hua Xin's faction, will continue to do that. Until we can find Xu Huang. Alright, this will just be a delegate. Nice and easy. They have two strategists on the run. They have a few more territories. So the fact that the copper mine is the capital makes me think that he doesn't own Nanhai's commandery, which is here. He owns three counties, maybe more counties here, but definitely no commandery, or else he would not have this as his capital. So we're probably going to go south first with him. We might turn around, go to Nanhai here, just to see what's over here. Depends on who we want to fight Liu Yao's faction. We could have them do it. I think that's overkill. I think we're fine just having this army slowly walk around. We'll take our time. Alright, so they can march over here to the fishing port and take care of the else entire faction. As we said before, we're going to set them up to actually fight the yellow turbans over here in Beihai. Unless they get they beat me to the punch, which is a possibility, but we'll see. we got to heal up anyway after that delegate win. Alright, let's hunt down some more yellow turbans here. Very straightforward. What if we have a negative food right now in the winter? Nope. Barely positive. Okay, I got a silver brown horse. Our northern army. Gotta go fetch ourselves a farmland. Everyone's healed, so we'll just move as far as we can. Ooh, got a full stack here. Liu Xie. So we, we Liu Xie, so we want to capture him and then we'll prop him up the former emperor back in Luoyang. That's our goal. I think we can do it. He has patience. He has patience. He can't have patience, but we have two patience, so that's 50% extra chance of capturing. We'll see if we can get them next turn. We don't have enough movement this turn. Uh, out west, they're just in cleanup duty. Yeah, these are pretty straightforward. We're going to hold on to Wu Wei. It's going to be just a farm town, so we don't want that. Get land development going on in here. We would like a small city though. So let's get that building going. I don't care. They can't do anything by themselves. Uh, Ma Chao is summoned out last turn. We're going to have them take the Silk Trader. We'll end at the edge of our territory so that they can be full healed to take that. Uh, Cao Cao is defending heavily here in Chang'an as Liu Bei's forces are coming in. But they're a bit injured, so I actually think Cao Cao's forces are going to win. We're going to snatch the Silk Trader. And that's it. And then we're going to go north into Anding. And we'll wipe out all this territory. We'll let Liu Bei draw their attention in Chang'an. I don't think Liu Bei can take it. He can prove me wrong if he is capable of doing that. And they can take care of some rebels here as well. Alright, let's see. What else do we need to do? I think the north is pretty much set up. We got one army cleaning up here, and then they're going to clean up these two. We got one army cleaning up here, and they're going to clean up these three. And then these two armies can decide who wants to go over here, 
And then we also have one army coming up this way from here to here to clean up Zhang Yan. And then we have these three armies. One will take care of Chang'an, the other two will take care of Yuan Shao. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good division of labor. And then we'll probably just resummon all of them over here. We might actually go around and paint the map and, you know, resettle everyone in their proper places. We have a lot of buildings to take care of, apparently. Let's see, do we have the right assignments? Yes, we do. What about you guys? Pretty good. We can get a new reform next turn. Pretty much that's the only thing holding us back for a lot of our development here. Jian Ye. All right, we're, no one's boosting industry here. It's such a wonderful place to boost industry. Uh, our, our, let's, yeah, let's use our ex-wife. When was her happiness ever something we cared about? Let's pop this up. All right, so since we relocated the former emperor, we're not going to build up Luoyang for him. He's just going to have to manage it himself. Uh, this will be resolved next turn. We'll get that reform first. We'll build this up. Wudu can be quite lucrative. I mean, it's not bad. Xiangyang is the one we're going to upgrade for the entrepreneur so we can start getting horses from the animal tamer. Alright, we're going to give this away to the High Empire. Uh, using it to trade for some territories that we want. The Yuzhang over here. Um, it can't wait though. Because I don't know if Luoyang will come down and attack. It's deserted right now. Yeah, there's no rush for this trade. But that's why we're not going to upgrade it. Alright, we're probably going to keep this. So we're going to upgrade this. We do have the extra money. All right, we want it into the small city so we can build this. We can probably do a city and then build an extra forge just for extra items. It's not the worst idea, but we're gonna do it slowly. No need to rush that idea. Wu Ling. Right, this is something we're gonna give away as well. Also something I think we don't need to rush. Yeah, we're fine right now. Xingdu. I don't know what to do with Xingdu. Maybe we can get Yan Bai Hu's, some his kid. I don't know. We have his wife. I don't know if we're going to get his kid. I'm still a little bummed about not being able to marry Gong Sun Zai into the faction. Did he get some? Oh, someone picked him up. Children. Okay. So we might actually be able to see him because we're going to be in a long war with them. Okay, so there's a chance we can still see him. That's about it. I don't think we need to do much here. Cao Cao is not giving him a, you know, an officer role just yet. Uh, he can do whatever he wants. Um, even out the points. Is there anyone we might be able to come? I mean, I think a lot of people we can convince to leave, but like, do we really? We don't want them, so that's no need. Zhang Quan. Hmm. We'll pass on that. And yeah, we really can't spy on the High Empire. Hmm. That's a bummer. Um, any new development on the deal front? Not really. Yeah. We're good. Let's continue. Alright, we got hit with an offensive ambush, which is really tough. I forgot about this. So we marched our army all the way up to where Liu Xie's army is. And we got hit with this offensive ambush that we can't run away from. That is going to make this battle extremely hard for us, given that we have a ton of siege weapons. It will be like a cinematic opening where we're marching down, and then they will all run at us. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be rough. We're going to have to run our generals at all the archers. And then hope that our camp crushers can hold. 
We're gonna lose all these toys. Oh well, let's fight. Alright. Let's respawn. First, we gotta get these guys out of the forest. We'll take the duel, that's okay. Hold. Uh, they have a trap in the forest. Aren't they smart? Alright, loop around, loop around. Seed weapon's all gone. We'll move him out. Alright, Gunny will take the duel. Of course the former Emperor doesn't do anything. Alright, gotta if we can kill the the range units, we have much better quality You know infantry. Yeah, you guys can all run. There's no need for you guys to be to be like holding on to those machines. Alright, we're gonna be wiping off their generals. Alright, he broke through, actually touched the range unit. Alright. Shall we one? Great job. What level is this Emperor? Level 3. Okay, don't kill him. He doesn't have resiliency. He might because of his unique background, but I'm not sure. So we're not going to risk that. Alright, they reached the range units as well. Not too bad. Alright, these two. It is an ambush, but you know, we have quality. Oh, we can. Oh, what are we doing? We could have analyzed weakness. That was our job. Alright, start shooting at the people over there. Try and smash the ground. There we go. Go help, go help. Apply the wisdom of the river to all the units. Alright, they killed that range unit right there. They have reinforcement coming in a while, like 48 seconds. If we're fast, we could potentially wipe them out here. Alright, he's back on his horse. Walk in here. Alright, they're done. Alright, we got to micro a little bit to prevent... Yeah, we pulled away too many units to prevent us killing the Emperor by accident. Alright, you get on him. You get on him. Charge at the axe. Alright, they're coming. Pull him back. These are what? Black Mountain Outlaws? Okay. We'll shotgun them. Alright, cavalry is coming in. Hold them, hold them. Now we shot a few of our men. Happens to the best of us. Will you rout, my friend? Look, your men are all round, are all r running. Everybody go after them. Actually, no, they routed. Stay on that, stay on that. He's routing. Good. Alright, second wave is here. Need to kind of reorganize ourselves. Oh, they rally back. Yeah, just leave. You don't need to be here. Alright, we need to collect ourselves here. All the infantry can go here. Cavalry can hide on the side. Come back, come back. Okay, we'll regroup for this part, which is not any easier, to be fair. Just leave. You're gonna get yourself killed. Alright. They can go after that. Let's call these one, two. Actually, he can be three. You can solo that. All right, we want to be hiding in the forest. All 
I got three more charges of hail of arrows. We don't want to waste it on. Hold on, we need to pull back a little bit. The cavalry is going to charge us. We got to get ready. Select. Pop them, pop them, please. Timing, timing, timing. Uh, it's not going to work. Can we roar? Uh, not a good situation for us. Not a good situation for us. Cavalry come. Counter charge that for us. No, we're not staying. Not a good plan. Alright. Stay on that. Stay on that. Build some speed by charging. Gun and keep moving. Don't hit the Emperor. I think Gunning got out. Good. Get over here. Alright, they beat that. Go fight that. Pull them away from... Charge. Uh, no. Actually, we need to be picky here. We need the Camp Crushers to fight Axe units because Camp Crushers don't have shields. And then we need the swordman who has shield to fight their enemy swordman. And then he needs to actually get off his ability. Let's find a good angle here. Chao Yun, uh, go fight the axe unit. We can debuff everyone. Fire. There we go. Alright, stay on that. Stay on that. There we go. Push into that. What a tough fight. It's basically just the archers now. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to take the, 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 the place they're defending. Toolmaker or a town? A uh, farmland next turn because uh feels like our units are extremely depleted gunning's almost knocked out oh joyin still has a fight with the captains here they bounce back oh no they bounce back all right stay on the Get back to them. Oh, they got wiped. Are right, you stay on them then? Trying can solo that himself. Kite, kite, kite. Are we on foot? No, we're on horse. We're good. Oh, they still have units bouncing back. It's insane. I mean, they ambushed us, so it kind of makes sense that they have higher morale than that we do. We could roar, but it's better if we roar to get... Ooh, he routed. Do we cause scare? We don't. Oh, we do cause scare. That's right. 
I was like, how did their morale just drop when they walk next to us? So I'm going to be chasing for a little bit. See you guys at the end. We got to try to reduce as many of their men as we can. Oh yeah, Giant's offensive ambush really escaped me. I should have been more careful. Oh, he has resiliency. So we could have killed him. All right. We'll release once. Build up some goodwill. We definitely need replenishment, even though we can't use the extra momentum because it's during the end turn. Alrighty, Ma Teng has died of old age, I guess. And the wife has taken over. I mean, we're ready to check them off our list, so no worries there. Alright. This is just difficult terrain. Try to get as far as we can. And we'll attack it next turn. Oh, uh, we can we can ignore him. Oh, Sun Quan. That's our list. Okay. So what we need to do is summon. We need to move them back into the territory. And then we need to summon Lu Bu into the army and then move him there next turn. So Lu Bu needs to come off the battlefield this turn. Alright, we got ourselves a target. We can still take a town. Actually, they're not our enemies. Interesting, we can't actually fight anyone. We can declare war on Liu Shang, of course, but I don't see any reason to do that. Can we trade with him? Oh, we are already trading with him. So that's another reason why we shouldn't do that. So I think we just straight up recall him if that's the case. I mean, we don't need to fight any of them. Yeah, there's like literally nothing we can do. If they have an army, they might come in this way. We could take a peek, like here, to see if we can find like Shizia's army group, but. I doubt there's any. Alright, going to after Sun Quan next turn, summon him back. So yeah, wiping out Sun Ce was the way to go here. Mm, we might want to kill them too, just so that we can summon we can make them summon Xu Hua onto the battlefield. But the copper mine is so attractive. Yeah, let's let's do this first. Wow, lots of yellow turbans. Alright, I think it's level three. We'll spend a little bit of money upgrading it. Uh, four is our extent. Uh, we want five, obviously, but we're gonna get there. Eventually. Alright, so this is owned by Wang Long. A lot of yellow turban territory. Okay, impressive. Alright, they got beat up really bad. We made sure to retreat some of these siege weapons just so that we have them for this fight. We're gonna have to attack. Alright, the AI doesn't think we'll win. Which I kind of agree. It's tough. It's tough. They got one turn to kind of heal up. Or actually they didn't heal. Actually I don't know if they healed or not. This could be just because we're sieging them right now. Or it could be they didn't have enough military supplies to heal. Which is weird because they run on a loot system. Anyways. We saved this guy. This is going to be our main force here. Uh, we'll do night battle to hurt their morale. Uh, it's not showing us capture percentage because the AI think we'll lose. But I think we have a good shot, especially the fondness from that release. Uh, let's fight it out here. Alrighty. So, obviously we have to use our generals quite a bit here. We also have to be careful because... Gunning doesn't have a lot of health left. We have five crossboats. That's more than enough. It's not rainy. We have four tribuches in total. Okay. I can deal with that. These guys will be here tanking up enemy range. We only really have to guard against cavalry from like one side. There's rocks here. 
and there's like a lake here. So what we need to do is we need to fill out spikes here to prevent a cavalry charge from this gap. These two healthier ones will cover this little forested area here. And these two will cover here in case they loop around. We don't have much cavalry. We definitely can't throw them in uh, where they will get shot up. So we got to be a little careful with them. I'll try to micro him up. Uh, Chen Gong is super useful with uh, Wisdom River against units and um, these two abilities against generals. Now we also know that Liu Xie can be killed because he has resiliency so there's no... Let's put a fire right, right here. God, they have a lot of men. Good news is most of them are injured. He's giving them a lot of morale. Yep. So we gotta remove him from the equation. Zhao Yun. Breakthrough. The enemy cavalry. Uh, we'll take the duel. We'll loop to the side that the cavalrys are not on. It seems like the cavalrys are going to come from this side. It's like almost guaranteed. So we're going to pull these guys back. Giant should make pretty quick work of him. They're moving really fast because of his bonus. 25% speed. Commander is underrated for this aspect. They're great leading troops into a charge. Okay, how many people are throwing little spikes on the ground around us? It looked like a shower over here. Is on, on your horse yet? Yes, good. Go. Sorry, Emperor. Promise this is for your own good. You're in a bandit faction right now. You're in a bad dream. You think you're in a good place, but you're not. We're here to liberate you. We're going to return you to the capital. You look at it every day across the river. Sorry. Don't worry, we'll get you back. Alright, they're fast approaching our lines. We have a lot of anti-cav here. And we're going to sandwich them on this charge here too. Is there a gap by the stone that we... Oh, okay, good. We didn't, I was like, if there's a gap by that stone... Alright, Gunning has scare, so we're just putting him near the enemy troops. Pretty much ends them. Gonna pull them back out again. Gonna shoot over here. Ah, eh, we don't need to charge them. We, we got siege weapons. We just gotta take care of the enemy range units. Alright, we won. Let's see if we can capture those yet. Let's see. Yes! Willing to work for us. We we maimed, we maimed him, but oh, that's that's fine. Small price to pay. He's currently the administrator of the capital of Zhang Yan. Well, we're going to give you the capital back as an independent faction. Savior of the nation. This is a very opportune time to trigger this random event. That's right. You know what? We're in a good mood. You guys did something great. You can have some extra health because you're having trouble with that. Have more health. There we go. This is a reward session for them. You're ready, General of the Right. General of the Guards. That's good for you, too. There's not much we can give you. Maybe some extra health as well. You don't really need that much more evasion. Rewards for everyone. General who smashes the captive. Win 10 battles against faction belonging to the bandit subculture. 
All right, we got a title for that too. All right. Most importantly, first got to convert this real quick. Most importantly, Emperor, you're back. What item do you have? Nothing. He has a grudge against the high. The hot emperor banished the. They banished him. They banished their emperor. And then he had to run to the bandits, and we rescued him. He's only thirty-one. We have to wait a turn. Next turn, the Han will be restored. All right, let's get this. It's going to delay our Onyx Dragons, which should have been done like 30 turns ago if we really wanted them. We, we really don't need them. We need to go to Xiangyang, which needs to be build level rank four. Where are they? Now we're going to rush it because we want the animal tamers to be working as soon as possible. We're not going to upgrade it all the way to tier 5 because if we do, notice how it doesn't generate you an entrepreneur anymore, the unlock resource. Even though we do want silk expedition trade posts here eventually, we have to wait till we have a harbor um, commandery and then we can upgrade the harbor market wharf version to tier four and five because the silk road only exists on land so market wharf doesn't build doesn't boost uh silk so that's why we can't really work with that right now but this would fix it if we look at the animal tamers in shofang it should be working right it's checked off so it will work this question mark will go away uh, next turn all right changsha needs a marketplace Who timed out in terms of reforms, uh, re in assignments? It must be a building one. Oh, Xiaoyang could use an industry boost. Uh, I think we will give this one away as well in the future. All right, so I think we're good building-wise. We're not done with our army movement yet. They need two more turns of healing. The other question is, do they need to be full healed? Because we can rush over there quicker if we don't wait. I don't know. I think they're going to attack them. How fast can we get here? Four turns. Yeah, we don't need him to be healing. Save us two turns. They might need a little healing before this fight. We do have a spy here. That would help us. What rank is the fishing port? Okay, rank three. So we can't reach them from here. We might as well go here. We'll still heal and we can reach it in one turn. So that's a nice excuse to heal for one more turn here. Uh, they're just farming rebels. Can wait in the city. Get the silk trader for us. Medium casualty. Oh well. Oh, someone leveled up. Watch hope. We're not going to get internal blaze. Uh, being uncontrollable is not that great. We're going to give him more speed. And then his unit more charge. Uh, more melee damage, not more charge. Level 3. 
Yeah, he beat Liu Bei's army back. We might have to fight them before turning north, or else he just retake all of this. Well, that's fine. We're up for the challenge. Rebel? No rebel. Okay. Stay in the city. They're sieging, which is good. Which means we can just delegate the win here. Down they go. It's a regional city. Very strong towers. I think we're good. We recall Liu Bu so that we can get Sun Quan's fight next turn. We got Liu Xie so we can restore the empire a little bit. Things are looking pretty good. Let's check Spy and then end turn. Nothing new here. Gonna just check Marriage one more time. Nope, it's not working. We could annex them, but no, I'm not doing that. That's that's too messy. I kind of want to flip territories eventually, but I just don't know what I want to flip for. We don't need Wu Ling. We can give it to him. But what will we ask back? Like, I kind of want to save it till when we get Beihai over here. So we can ask for Taishan back. Taishan trade port back from the Han Empire. So we can give it to the Obey. And then we also need some territory to do a deal with Liu Bei. We'll figure things out. That one we might just have to buy with cash. Uh, but we're good. Let's just continue here. Eager to restore Luoyang back in the hand of Liu Xie. Alright, va our vassal is asking to protect them. Our Han Empire is asking us to protect them from Yuan Shao. So we're back at war with Yuan Shao. Uh, definitely doing this. It's fine. It's about time anyways. Accept. Alright, Cao Cao signed a peace deal with Guan Zhi. Yuan Shao declare war on High Empire. He liberates his vassal, who immediately jumps to the other kingdom. Bad choice of friends. He's gonna launch a naval attack against Intron again. What else is new? All right. Um, so obviously we're gonna have a small problem temporarily, as you know they're gonna be the one who's aggressing against us, and we need some time to set up a defense against them I would love to have Zhang He and Xu, uh, Xu Yu for that matter but we'll see if we can get that done we need to wrap up our war over here or do we? do we actually need to keep fighting there against Zhang yet? that's the question because he doesn't have anyone we need we know where he is we know where he is. Where did he join? Zhang Yang? Okay, new plan. Let's peace out. Uh, asking for quite a bit. We have him beat. What's his what's his deal? His son. His son is the Prince of the Black Mountain. It's a cute title. Pretty much the same bonus as dad. Hmm. Fancy. Scarred. Um I don't know. I guess we could summon a new army. That's probably our best bet. We'll figure that out later. Let's do the thing I really want to do right away. Welcome back the Emperor. Grant independence. Now what's your attitude against us? Oh, it's poor. Uh, is there a reason? Oh, he's defiant. Never stay subordinate. Opposes power. Dislike all large or aggressive actions. Okay, so he's just... thats I mean, clearly that's not your personality when you were a puppet. Never stay a subordinate. You basically lived your life a lie against Tal, under Tal Tal's faction. So how negative are we talking about? 
309. So I'm going to expect a rebellion from him. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. I'm going to force him to fight a war with us so that we can build relationship through uh, killing shared enemies. And Yuan Shao might be that person right now. How does he feel about that? Oh, he doesn't feel very good about that. Honorable treatment of soldiers of our enemy. So he wants us to kill enemy soldiers. Release generals of our enemy. He doesn't like that either. So we should kill enemy generals. He likes war atrocity against our enemies. War with our enemies. So we have a shared enemy now. That's kind of what I was going for. I can't believe he won't trade with us. He has the pig. I mean, there's no point building a relationship when it's negative 300. We tried that with Loyal. It didn't go anywhere. He's still very negative, but he's not rebelling, so it's fine. Alright. So, as we kill off Yuan Shao's men, he will like us more and more. Alright, no one too crazy here. Oh, Tal has a new army peeking out here. The question is, should we leave here and go here? Because I, this is clearly coming for the horse pasture. Yeah, we can lose the tr silk trader. I don't want to lose the horse pasture. We'll just wipe this out quickly. This is where it gets fun. We have to change stance. Move to here. Split the army. We gotta do a... F do a s Let's recruit Ribu into this one. Now we can't reach them, but they can. So we can go in as reinforcements. We'll have Zhou Tai siege. Alright, starve out for now. See, we, we could also just have them attack them and then bounce over with the maintain momentum. Might be risky. We might lose movement. Oh, they're going to run. That's right. That's not going to work. Hold on. Don't move. We're here. Finally, Sun Quan. Let's go. Let's end our episode by taking Sun Quan down. Alrighty. Poor Zhou Tai being sent here to fight all of them alone. Uh, we'll put some stakes here. They have cavalry. Beautiful terrain, though. Just absolutely beautiful terrain. We're just going to set up our toys here and send Li Bu forward. You can hear how slowly our toys move. <laughs> oh, that creek. Oh, look at that. Run out. We haven't crossed a name off our list in a while. Well, it's just because there aren't that many names left. Mm, actually, do this. Keep going. Don't be shy. Mm, 
All right, we're good to go here. Where are the enemy? My guess is they're scattered and searching for us. Town hunters. Hey, guess what? We're also fatiguing me. Oh, there you are, my friend. We'll see if we can get him to duel us. By the way, does this look familiar? Your brother gave that to us for our ex-wife. He sold the country, the symbol of the mandate of heaven for a girl, for an older woman. They'll come back. Got to make sure they don't. Come on, turn white. There we go. Sun Quan. They're never going to get there. I don't think they're actually going to ever charge us. Uh, he's running. Yeah, that missed. Tell marauders. Uh, too many units. Gonna make everyone freeze. Come on, freeze. Activate. There we go. It's because we weren't in melee combat with something. Like, we keep switching off of melee combat. Ah, uh, we could do that trick with the oil. We can do it very soon. No rush. They're throwing traps on the ground again. Which I think actually hurts him. Alright, don't move. Stay right there. Perfect. See, their horses are dying to their own traps. Right, where's that patch of oil? 49 seconds till the freeze happens again. We'll try to stand here. He's going to be taking away, but he still have quite a bit of health. Oh, look at all those traps on the ground. Uh, I wish it wasn't 30 seconds, though. He's dead. Yep, he's dead. We're gonna stand right here. Alright, we're gonna actually keep moving this way. Sun chen has gone. Name off our list. They're gonna try to chase over, and a lot of them will die as they chase over. Over those traps. Alright, we're two seconds away, so we're gonna charge through him. Move to the other side of the oil. Their stakes kill their own cavalry too. Two patches of oil. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna stand right here. When the first group make contact with us, we light it up, and then we freeze them, and then we go light up the second one. Alright, we're gonna stand right here. Been waiting for this for a long time. Okay, coming, coming. Throw the oil. And not only are we throwing the oil, we're freezing them in place. Oh, baby, burn. Look at that, they can't run. They cannot run. For another 15 seconds. Look at that. Oh, you guys die. They can they can move and they try to get to us. Oh wow. I wanna see the body counts in here after the fire dies down. He 
does have unbreakable. Is this all the enemy? That one's kind of far away from us. Oh, actually, that's everyone. All right, well, we're gonna pull out. Just want to look at the bodies real quick. They're all gonna rout. We lost about 2k health. I think max is 28 for us. Look at that pile of body here. It'll tick to 100% and then the fire will die out and then we can probably see the bodies. Be boost infernal. There we go. Have you seen a fire do this much damage? Look how many we killed in here. Wow. That was a blast. Alrighty. Great end to the episode. Not only do we check Sun Quan off our list, Let's see if we can capture him. We have a lot of officers here with patience as well. Nope, that's a negative. But the setting sun's complete. 10% campaign movement range going forward. Extra 10% on top of this 40. Just wonderful. Um, we're probably going to have to recall him. He's needed elsewhere. And we can actually merge. Uh... Zhou Tai could lead the army. Uh, it's the same thing between him and Dian Wei. Uh, Dian Wei might actually have more bonuses, so we might actually have him do it. Alright. And then they got one more farmland to take care of before selling back into Unding. And then they can collectively sweep down south. Uh, let's see. We kind of need a save point because those were used. Let's get a simple delegate battle for a save point here. Yellow turbans is kind of raging over here. I'm kind of scared of declaring war on them. I'm actually worried about declaring war on yellow turbans now I think about it. Looking at this. I mean, it's easy kills. They're all peasants, but still. We got to try to track down every army. Ma Liang? Oh, that's right. We're getting later in the game to the point where Ma Liang could be spawned. So he was one of these strategists that was from the Jin province, I believe, that joined Liu Bei. Uh, we can just release him though because we don't need him. We have we just got we just picked up a few strategists and his traits really nothing that great. Alright, so we can probably use them to bounce into the toolmaker, but we're going to do that in next episode. Uh, I might actually turn this army around now and not worry about the yellow turbans here and actually have them just sail south to help uh, Sun Ren's group cleaning up Liu Yao quicker. Uh, but we're pretty much going to call an end to our episode here. Uh, if we look at our situation, yeah, ownership is fine. We created this new vassal here in Liu Xie, uh, who's the former emperor. Give him back Luoyang, the capital. He doesn't like us, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to be sending Lu Bu over here in the north now that we're at war with Yuan Shao and Zhang Yang. And Zhang Yang apparently has Huang Gai. So we're going to try to see if we can fight him on the battlefield. And then we'll wipe out all of this, set up Yuan Tan as a vassal in the north. And that's pretty much going to be, you know, cleaning up the maps here before resuming our southern march towards the kingdom of Jiujin. Uh, no rush. Still having a blast. That fire attack with the dragon's gaze worked so well. So see you guys next time. Bye.